you back to repentance today. We're here to let you know that you are the greatest people on planet Earth. That's right. Not because we say so, but because thus saith the Lord. And we're going to prove it to you out of the scriptures. Bring that out when you're ready. We'll make right there. The book of Deuteronomy, chapter 7 and verse 6. For thou art an holy people unto the Lord thy God. So the Most High God said that you are a holy people unto the Most High God. Go ahead. The Lord thy God had chosen thee to be a special people unto himself. So the Most High said he has chosen you, black, Hispanic man, Native American man, to be special unto himself. Go ahead. Above all people, no uh, equal to everybody. Above all people, just like everybody else. Above all people, no different between you and other nations. Above all people, so the Most High Yahweh said he has chosen you, so called black, Hispanic, and Native American man, to be above all people. That's right. See, you've cast away your heritage. You don't want to be the greatest people on planet Earth. You rather live in sin. And because you want to live in sin, you are living in these curses, and these curses have come upon you throughout the scriptures. Give me Deuteronomy 28 and 15. Because we are stubborn people. We don't want to be the greatest people on planet Earth. We rather be down, downtrodden. We rather live like the other nations, and we don't want to listen to what the Most High has ordered us to do. So right now we are suffering. Go ahead. The book of Deuteronomy, chapter 28 and verse 15. But it shall come to pass, and thou wilt not hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God, to observe, to do all his commandments, so and his commandments, and his statutes, which I command thee this day. So the Most High said he has given you commandments, and if you do not listen to them, this is what's going to happen to you. Go ahead. That all these curses shall come upon thee. So right now, all these curses are coming on you throughout the world. You're suffering in every ghetto. You're suffering in every big city. You're the last high and first to fire. Your women are turned into whores. You're selling drugs in your neighborhood. You are the last people on the totem pole. And you're living in the curses. Go ahead. And open. Start here. So come upon thee and overtake thee. So these curses are coming upon you and they're overtaking you. Go ahead. Verse 16. Curse shall not be in the city. So the most I said, curse shall you be in the city. And if you look through this past year, you've seen uh, Breonna Taylor get killed. You've seen George Floyd get killed. You've seen uh, throughout the years Trayvon Martin get killed. Now you've even seen Martin Luther King get killed. So you've been getting killed ah, in the city. Right. Go ahead. And curse shall thou be in the field. And curse you are in the field. You were picking cotton. And right now, nowadays, you're still being lynched. You're still being hung from trees. So-called black and Hispanic man. You're still being killed by your oppressor. That's right. right. Verse 17. Curse shall thy be, curse shall be thy basket and thy store. And if you look around your neighborhood, you're losing all your corner markets. You're all being taken over by the so-called Arab man, and they're taking over the continuity of your city. If you want to buy a pack of ramen noodles, you gotta go in the Arab store and you gotta buy it from him. And he's gonna sell you some new points and a ham sandwich. But he ain't gonna eat it, but he's gonna call you his brother. Well, guess what? You, you, you are not his brother. We are your brothers. All right? The Most High is only dealing with you pertaining to these scriptures. But you haven't been taught that because your pastor has lied to you. Uh, give me Psalms 147, 19 and 20. Because you don't realize this Bible is your history. That's right. We're not talking about black history. Month. We talk about your history all year round. You have made history. You you are the greatest people on this planet, as we brought out previously. Right. So you need to stand up and you take your majesty and realize who the Most High God is dealing with. Go ahead. The book of Psalms, chapter 147 and verse 19. He showed his word unto Jacob. So black man, Hispanic man, and American man, the Most High showed his word unto you. Go ahead. His statutes and his judgments unto Israel. Yes, unto right. you, unto Israel. So the Most High said he showed his statutes and judgments unto you, and you are the nation of Israel. Go ahead. Verse 20. He has not done so with any nation. No, he dealing with the so-called white man. He had not done so with any nation. No, he dealing with the China man. He had done, not done so with any nation. No, he dealing with the so-called Arab man and his Quran. He had not dealt so with any nation. So the Most High said, he's not dealing so with any other nation, but you, nation of Israel. That's why you're going through the punishments that you're going through. That's right. Give me Amos 3 and 2. Give me the book of Amos uh, chapter 3, verse 2. 
It's time for you to wake up. It's time for you to stand on high. It's time to stop killing your brothers on the corners. It's time to stop turning your sisters into whores. It's time to stop looking at the Cardi B's and Nicki Minaj and Megan Thee Stallion. It's time to stop perpetrating these frauds and stop being your lower self. It's time to put down the cigarettes and drink it all day and day. It's time to stop smoking 50 million blunts. Right. Bring that up. The Book of Adamant, chapter 3 and verse 2. Come on. You only have I known of all the families of the earth. That's Come right. On. He only known you, black man, spirit man, and the American man, of all the families of the earth. Go ahead. Therefore, I will punish you for all your iniquity. And that's what's going on right now. You're being punished for all your iniquities. You're living in sin, and that's why the Most High is not protecting you because you are not doing what he commanded you to do. That's right. It's time for you to stand up on high. It's time for you to stop being OGs and be elders in the community. We don't need no more OGs. That's right. The OGs ain't teaching nothing to nobody except work for the white man. Because guess what? If you're selling drugs, you're still working for the white man. That's right. You selling the white man's dope in your community. And guess what? You following the prison pipeline. Because you in the trap trap and you ain't realize that you actually trapped. Oh, God. It's time to go out there and uplift your community. It's time to stand on high. Give me the book, um, Isaiah 42, 22. Because you don't realize that you are in the trap in the ghettos. You don't realize that you set up so that the jump out car will get you because you selling the white man's truck. It's time for you to put down this foolishness in this spot. Go ahead. The book of Isaiah, chapter 42 and verse 22. Come on. But this is a people robbed and spoiled. Black man, Hispanic man, you are the people robbed and spoiled. That's, That's right. That's why the drugs are in your community. Because you are the people who are robbed and spoiled. Go ahead. They are all of them snared in holes. And you were snared in holes. The holes is this prison system. The holes is the drugs that's been put in your neighborhood. And the so-called white man has put these drugs in your neighborhood so that you would be snared in these holes. Go ahead. They are for a prey and none deliverer. You are for the prey and nobody delivers you from the, from the arrows that are destined to hit you. The bullseye is on your back when you stand in your neighborhood and you're selling the drugs. That's right. Like you're a fool. Do you think actually voting or anything like that was going to change anything? Because it didn't. You just had a so-called black president, and he didn't do nothing for you. And his wife was from our nation. He didn't do nothing for you, but yet he gave 50 million civil rights to faggots. Yeah, it's good. Show them on. That's what he did. He made sure that they had more rights than you did. He made sure that a man can marry a man, but he, he won't let you live righteously and have multiple wives. Give me, give me the invitations, 417. <laughs> you can't depend on this white man. He's the goddamn devil the Bible speaks of. Yeah, and guess yeah, what? Yeah. He's trying to get you to take the vaccine. But guess what? This vaccine is designed to kill you too. Look what just happened. What's his name? Uh, I can't even remember the baseball player. He just got killed. Hey, man. He, he was 80 years old and healthy, but he want to prove to the white man for you that you should take you the vaccine. Then you're going to take the vaccine and come to hell, live a long and healthy life at 80 years old, and then two weeks later, you're going to die from taking the dead vaccine. Hank Aaron is a dead fool. The most I gave Hank Aaron judgment because he wanted to be a coon for the so-called white man. Bring that up. The Book of Lamentation, chapter 4 and verse 17. Come on. As for us, our eyes as yet fail. So your eyes are failing, depending on the so-called white man. Go ahead. For a vain help. For a vain help. That means his help is pointless. Because guess what? He ain't got no plans to feed you. He ain't got no plans to kill you. He ain't got no plans to bring the economy back in your neighborhood. He ain't got no plans but to burn feed you. Go ahead. In our watching, we have watched for a nation that could not save us. That's right, and you see, you know, Barack Obama couldn't save you. And you a goddamn fool if you think creepy Joe Biden gonna save you. Right. You a damn fool. Go ahead. Verse, verse 18. They hunt our steps. They hunt your steps every day. That's why the drugs are in your community. That's why they want you to turn your woman into a prostitute. Because they hunt your steps. And they want to arrest you for selling drugs and prostitution. 
When your women are princesses, the scriptures say that your women used to be so delicate that they would not set their feet on the ground. Come on. That we cannot go in our streets. Our end is near. You can't even go in your street. You stand on your on your block. There's no loitering signs everywhere. The police gonna roll up on you and pat you down. Stop your fist been going on since the 90s and it's still going on. Man. Our days are fulfilled. For our end has come. And our end has come. You know why? Because you want to do what the white man told you to do. You want to do what the white man put out in his music. He wants you to be a hustler, so you want to be a hustler. He wants your woman to shake that tail, and that's all you want her to be about. That's what you want to be about. And you know what that makes you? That makes you a dead fool. It's time to wake up. My name is Brother Yakinav, and that's my time. And I'm going to pass the mic off for the next powerful speaker to come up. Boom, yes, 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 Bo